Morning, we are on 12.2, problem 2, page 668. All right. Oh, no. We did this. Didn't we do this one already? That's not what we want. We want 657. Excuse me, 657. Uh, I'm supposed to... This is math one. Yes. I'm supposed to be in math two. Okay. So, am I in the wrong classroom or something? Because yesterday I was supposed to be in this class, but this is my new schedule. Okay, so, but Miss Morell doesn't have math two second period. So Miss Morell right. doesn't have math two right now, does she? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So then I'll take that book back. Yep. All right. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. No worries. There's so many things I could bring Sarina to the Sabrina. Sabrina. Sorry. Sabrina. Sabrina. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. <coughs> Here we are. <coughs> what does it mean if you're translating something? Moving it somewhere else. You're deciphering it, you're moving it, you're changing it. Like language. Transitioning it. Transitioning it. Now, uh, in that change, do you create something totally different? No. No, you're really trying to move it in a way or change it in a way <coughs> where it means the same thing, yes? Yes. Okay? So we're moving into a section where we'll be looking at a lot of translations in math. Yes. So you guys have done this before, uh, and there's a lot of varieties of it, from reflecting like a mirror image to just sliding things back and forth or up and down. So translating, uh, we're changing it, but we're also trying to keep it the same throughout this change. Okay, so here we go. <coughs> Pedro's house. I'm at the top of page 657. Pedro's house is located at 610. Graph this location on the coordinate plane and label that point P. If I'm finding 610, that's the X, that's the Y. Start on the X, go over 6. It's going to be between the 4 and the 8. And then on the 10, I need to go up on the Y. It's going to be between the 8 and the 12. There's 610. This is going to be point P. You got a P? For Pedro's half. Jethro. <coughs> Jethro's half is located at 2, 3. Graph this location and label it J. 2 is going to be one box over. 3 is going to be right here. It's in between grid marks. Because these boxes are going by twos. So there's two, three. We're going to label that J. Draw a line connecting the two houses. Pedro, the pathway from Pedro's house to Jethro's house. <coughs> Determine <coughs> the length of that line segment. All right. If it was on a horizontal or vertical, we could just count. But here's what we're going to need to do. This one was 6, 10. This one was 2, 3. How can we find the distance between those two points? It's up and over, but 
<coughs> Have we ever done anything with points and distances before? D equals something in parentheses. What is it equal in parentheses? Two parentheses squared. What's inside the two parentheses? This is how we started our day yesterday. Right now, turn to the people at your table. Uh, 25 seconds. I know you can do this. Put your brains together. How do we fill those parentheses? Ready, go. Okay, so we take a 6 and go 2. Five more seconds. And stop. <coughs> Who thinks they have it? We do. Yeah, for sure. It's one. We know this. Mm. Are we going to go with Andy or are we going to go with Imogen? <laughs> Christopher? No. Okay. Oh, thank you. A gentleman. There we go. What do you got, Imogen? So, the first thing you're going to do x2 minus x1, which is 2 minus x squared. And? Plus your y2 minus y1, which is 3 minus x. And you could have done this the other way. You could go 6 minus 2 and 10 minus 3 as long as you're going the same direction. So she went 2 minus 6, 3 minus 10. You have to start with the same points coordinate. Okay? So this is going to be d equals square root of 2 minus 6 is negative 4. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. Square them. And when we square them, the negatives go away. Because negative 7 times negative 7 is positive. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive. I need my calculator. Sixteen plus forty-nine, and then take a square root. Eight point one is how far apart those points are. Do you guys want to get calculators? We're not going to do this much, but there may be a little bit of it here and there. Okay, flip the page. Okay, we got a little vocab before we move on. Yeah, vocab. Let's do this. You ready, Andy? Yeah, I'm ready. You've got this? Uh, no, I don't got it. But sure, let's go. Let's do this. A transformation is a mapping or movement of all points, a figure, and a point according to a common operation. A rigid motion is a transformation of points in space. A translation is a rigid motion that slides each point of a figure in the same distance and direction, sliding a figure left or right or horizontal translation. And sign in up or down is a vertical translation. The new figure created from the translation is called the image. The original figure is called the image. All right. So they're going to use some of these words for us uh, as we move forward. That was kind of a quick and dirty of uh, getting used to them. Line segment PJ, the distance between Pedro and Jethro's house, is horizontally translated 10 units to the left. Graph the new location of segment PJ. Label the new points P prime, J prime. Identify the coordinates of P prime, J prime. So, 
Uh, we're going to translate our segment that we had on our graph on the other page 10 units to the left. We're going to draw a new line segment and we're going to figure out what are the ordered pairs, what's the x and y of where the new endpoints line up. So we got to flip back uh, to page 657. We're going to move to the left. We're going to move that way. And how far are we going to move? 10. Now one thing to know is what, how many is each box? Each box is 2. So I'm going to start where P is and go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's my new P, and I'm calling it P prime. Now I'm going to start where J is, and remember J is in between grid marks because it's an odd number 3. But I'm just going to stay in between grid marks 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Bravo. Bravo. That's J prime. And I'll draw a line. Good. It looks like I slid it horizontally and didn't change it. Again, this translation, we want to change it in a way where we keep the main meat of it intact, but now it's moved. We also need to find the ordered pairs for these two. If I'm looking at P, it's 2, 4, 6 over in the negative direction. That's the x-coordinate. And then if I'm looking at P, it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 up in the positive direction. That's the y-coordinate. Find me the ordered pairs for J, please. At your table, talk to the people around you. What's the coordinates of J? Do we got it? C, C, C. Tony, what do you have? Um, got eight, two. Oh, close. There's two minor things to fix about that. Negative, Negative eight. And is it at two? It's at three. It should be in between lines. This one was two, three. It was three up. So it's halfway between this line and that line. Um, so this is 8, excuse me, negative 8, 3. <coughs> Are you with us to there? Okay, so let's flip back and see what they want us to do. Uh, let's write those coordinates. Uh, negative 6, 10. And that was P prime. J prime was negative 8, 3. Okay. Yeah. Another translation, line segment P prime J prime vertically translated 14 units down. Same thing. Gonna relabel the points and we need to identify coordinates, but this time we're moving the image, the thing we just created, P prime J prime, down. All right, so flipping back. All right, again, every box is two, so I'm going to start at my P end, and I'm going to go down how many? Seven boxes. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. We're going to call that P prime prime. And J, the same thing. And it's in between boxes. I'm being careful to keep it in between boxes. It's an odd number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's J prime prime. 
There's our line. So far, it looks like we're sliding things identical. The first translation was left. The second translation is down. Okay. This time I'm going to do J with you. J is at negative 8. And then if I look at how far down is it from the x-axis, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and halfway, so one more. Yes? Um, I'm confused because I know I looked at the, are you going the down to the first one? No, original. Not the original, original, but the P prime first one. Uh, let's see. I was. Excuse me. You're right. He's right. I have mine at four ten, huh? Yeah. Okay. So Jerry. Uh, this one should have been over here, so that's putting my stuff off from your stuff all the way across, okay? So most people probably copied me, uh, and let's go ahead. The only thing we need to change on mine is this number right here. The P is not at 6. I put the P by accident at 4, so this is really 410. Uh, Yes. How many did you go down from here? They wanted us to go down 14, and that's seven boxes, because each box is two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. All right, sorry about that. <coughs> All right. I've got negative 8, 11. Find me P prime prime, please. P prime prime. What's the X and what's the Y? Uh, 